Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to a new uh, multiplayer server let's play. This is going to be Minecraft Feed the Beast, and I'm playing on the Brocraft server. And right now, it's just me and Narlo. Hey, everybody. Um, Narlo has a YouTube channel. Uh, what is it? Darrenness? I'm not, never quite sure how to pronounce it. Darrenness, yes. Darrenness, okay. Yeah, and he's been doing Brocraft, uh, you know, let's play for, was like 360 something episodes now? Uh, yeah, I think a 370 something I think I put up today. Okay, yeah. So, um, uh. He, he changes the worlds, too. Like, uh, it's not like my, my Let's Plays. Like, when I change a world, I restart uh, from the counter and call it a different season. He They've been doing... How many worlds do you think you've done? Oh, um... The, the Brocraft's just been on these two. Uh, well... We 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 had the the uh, the base Brocraft server. We've had the feed the beast, and then we had a Tekkit server that we did for a couple of months. But the world got corrupted. Oh, okay. All and right. If that hadn't happened, we'd probably still be on that. Do you you, you don't put up vanilla stuff anymore, right? Like I haven't seen it. Rarely, rarely. So do you do the vanilla stuff at the same time? Like maybe some if you feel like doing vanilla, you'll do part three seventy one vanilla, and then go back to feed the beast for three seventy two or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll jump back and forth between them. Okay, all right. Yeah, and I do something kind of like vanilla, but it's it's bucket. It's, oh. you know, it's it's vanilla with a few little additions to it, yeah. Oh, so it's not pure vanilla, yeah. Okay. No, no. All right, so, um, yeah, so we're here in Feed the Beast uh, mod pack. This is uh, Direwolf 20 mod pack, and um, how long has this server been up? This one's been up a couple of months now. Okay, and I think it's we started in March. Okay, and it's it's uh, Narlo, Minefiend, Dwendin, and it, does Keeper play on it? Yeah, in fact, Keeper's the one that runs it. Oh, Keeper's the one that runs it. Okay, and uh, Keeper and uh, and Dwendin are your brothers, right? Right. All right, hence the name Brocraft. And you guys met uh, Minefiend uh, on YouTube and like brought him in eventually. Exactly. All right. I, oh, there, while I'm thinking about it. Don't ask to get on the server, guys. Like, I'm not, like, nobody's being a jerk. It's just, it's a very, like, uh, it's a very low-rent server. If we get too many people on, it will kill it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I get lagged sometimes when I'm on by myself. So, yeah, uh, don't ask to get on. We don't have, nobody has anything against anybody. It's just a very, very small server. Um, I mean, you knew Mindfiend for a while. He, they kind of scouted me out. Not scouted me out. I asked to join, and, like, they've known me for a while. So that, you know, uh, but right, I don't... Right. I don't even think if they found someone else like they wanted on that this server could handle anybody else. I don't think it could. No, I'm yeah. waiting to see one day when all five of us get on and see what happens. Yeah, well, that's the nice thing about your brothers not being on is that like it's not crashing. But it's <laughs> but it sucks because I haven't gotten to play with Dwendin or Keebs yet, and that's that's depressing. But you know they they have real life stuff going on. Didn't one of them just have a kid or something? Yeah, Dwendin. In fact, you might might see him this afternoon. I just got off the phone with him, and he said, depending on how the wife and the kid is when he gets home, he might actually get to log in for a little while. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So I'm, uh, you know, I'll be around. I might not be on, but uh, I will keep Steam open. And by cool. all means, if he gets on, look for me, please. Heck yeah, heck yeah. We'll throw one your way. All right, cool. Um, all right, so I'm gonna show people around. I guess. See, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should show Minefiend stuff without him on, but I kind of want to. Uh, so, uh -oh, he won't mind. All right, yeah, because I was gonna say, me and him are never gonna be on together. So, I mean, or very rarely. Um, a lot of times, I'm on with him when I'm at work. I have a really fortunate job where I could like mess around in Minecraft a little bit while I'm working. And uh, nice. Bef yeah, before you get jealous, I've been there for 17 years. So. <laughs> You know, I've earned a little bit. Uh, so, yeah. So let's let's show your place first, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. There's not really anything to see there, but... Uh, That's why I figured we'd start off with yours. Sure. Um, Left or right? Oops. Book? Darn it. Not the one I went in. <laughs> <laughs> the, I really got to name these books. Um, Narlo and... I'm not sure how Dwendin and Keebs are, but I know Narlo is a very slow builder. Uh, he just likes to smell the roses and have a good time and stuff. Not like... A bunch of us like nut job builders who just want to like get crazy stuff up. So we're gonna go to his place first, see what he's got going on. Yeah, I'm really into it. At least in the the multiplayer and the single play, I like doing a lot of stuff. And multiplayer, I'm really in it for uh, hanging out with my bros and stuff. 
Yeah, I saw um I saw your Narlo land one where you you don't like build, you just kind of do like a kind of like a um a role play thing. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, what those th that was pretty pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Looking forward to getting back to those days. Did you put this uh you did. What? You put, you put this stuff here. The the uh fence here? No, the um the wheat. The no, not the wheat. The uh Okay. Uh, aluminum. aluminum, yes, or aluminium, yeah. as our friends from across the pond like to say. Uh, aluminium. Yep. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I was wondering. I was like, I saw this on the ground. I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't never even seen this before. Got yeah, little, it's not used for much else. So, uh, got a little pathway up here. Oh, I guess that's your mining area. Yeah, down probably, there. Probably not much to see, right? Just like holes in the walls and stuff. Just holes in the wall. That's all. Um, my oh my little... God! Where'd you get all these silverwoods from? Two of them were natural. The two that are on the two hills over here. These these uh, last two right on the side here are both natural. Sheesh. Um, these two here, I found the saplings of them yesterday, and I've got another sapling right over here that I'm waiting is, to grow. Is there any trick to finding saplings? Because on my single player world, like I'm having a real hard time with it. I had a real hard time. I've, I cut down probably five trees to get three saplings out of them. Oh, okay. All right. And I figure this will be my thumb craft area. I'll just build something. Just in build the it right, of right in the middle. Yeah, that'd be so yeah. cool. That'd be so cool. Because whenever you plant the tree, it, it it spawns a node. All right. So we're gonna go in his little house right here. The gnome shack. The gnome shack. Okay. And yeah. it seems like, are you gonna build these walls all the way up? Like, or like, are they just gonna stay like this? Or they're gonna or, stay like this. I okay. The uh, the tree ring. Okay. Cool. I guess uh, this was before you had your jetpack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I may work on. The, I may work on trying to get a few more of them to be uh, the full-grown trees, the full, the tall trees. Yeah, yeah. So I can have a big tree canopy all the way around the top. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you might want to make it pretty high, just in case you want to make multiple stories of your building. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, plus, I think it would look really cool. I think it would look really cool if it just looked like a solid tree all the way around, because that would be a giant ass tree. Yeah, that would be. So and the, the it, only other thing that I'm doing over here is uh, working on. You'll see the the autumn trees out there. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw your autumn trees. Yeah. Yep. I'm spreading those around and eventually turn this whole valley into an autumn valley. At least, at least in looks, if not in fact. No. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Autumn will be happy about that. I'll tell you, you did it in honor of her. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you got uh, a bunch of barrels over here. Okay, it's good. I love barrels. Uh, got ourselves a bat box, a, a macerator, generator, extractor. Pretty good. You got your, you got your rubber, and got you can macerate your stuff. That's cool. And let's see what you got in your little shack right here. Okay, this is pretty. This is pretty a uh, good old gamer claustrophobic room. That <laughs> like, have you ever seen his, like his rooms on his freaking? Oh, it's, it's yeah. Oh my god. Actually, his would be about a third of this size. Like, this is roomy for his area. You know, you have those things in Tokyo, those little traveler hotels that are the, the I think they call them the coffins. Okay, yeah. <laughs> They're the little one, you know, what is it, four foot high, three foot high, uh, three foot, three foot high, four foot wide, and six foot long thing that's just a bed and a TV set. I think he would really get into those. <laughs> oh, the Gnome Shack, uh, 17th of March, nice. Is that, was, did you build this the day the server came up? Uh, it was within a day or so, yeah. Okay, all right. All right, pretty neat. I like it. I like it. Thank you. All right, let's, uh... Um, do you know if Dwendon or Keebs have done anything? Like, I, I don't even think I've been there. We should probably go check it out either way. Dwendon hasn't. Oh, okay. Um, he's got a little area that I think he might have a hut on, and that's it. He hasn't done anything else. Keebs has got the Village of the Damned. All right, let's go check out the Village of the Damned. Because that, that actually, I think, was on your last video you put up. Yes, that was on the, the where I was, where him working on his golems. This is actually incredibly close to my house. When I was looking for a place for my quarry, I saw this village, and but I didn't see it was built on. I just kind of saw like the edge of it, and I saw it was in the wastelands. So I said, you know what? Wastelands are useless. I'm just going to build a 64 by 64 quarry there. And then Minefiend is like, no, that's the village of the damned. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh never mind. <laughs> they really would have been damned. <laughs> 
Ye old watering hole. Oh, 16th of March, okay. This is the oldest structure we've seen yet. All right, so he's got, oh, a bunch of barrels. Everyone loves barrels. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And Ooh, I think he's... He's got I a lot think, of diamonds. I think he's got his uh, <laughs> anvil hidden behind one of them, too. I'm not sure. Oh, really? Yeah. I heard Minefiend on the on the last video going, oh, sneaky bugger. <laughs> yep, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a nutter. <laughs> um... Okay, so it looks like over here, but he's got a squeezer. Yeah, he's got a squeezer. I, I haven't messed around with squeezers yet. I don't know what seed oil is used for, but um, I'm looking forward to getting into it for sure. Sterling engine. All right, he's got a basic uh, IC2 machine tier. Looks like he's got a, yep. He's got a low voltage solar array up there. Very good. All right. Oh, over here is his farm, so this is really nice. He's got his uh, he's got his golems doing his thing. I love golems, especially for farming. I think far I think golems are so good for farming. You know what they need? They need a far a golem that can that can tap uh resin out of trees, mm -hmm. or one that can cut down trees. I want a mining golem. Mm. That's what I want. That's pretty I want sweet. A, I want a little golem carrying a little pickaxe with a little red hat on his head and see him digging tunnels for me. That would be pretty sweet. Oh, it's kind of like a mining turtle, but it'd be cooler to see a golem doing it. Yeah. And you should have to supply him with a pickaxe. Ooh, maybe you, you have to supply him with a pickaxe, like uh, I have like and, a chest that he has to go to or something. Or or you could you could supply him with pickaxes. They take damage like normal, and they will break. And then you got to keep supplying them. But you can give him pickaxes that are enchanted. Yeah. For, for extra diamonds. Yeah. All right, this is um this is a really cool thing here that I built on a multiplayer server one time, and it's like it's what you use to make power armor, and I might get into power armor at some point. Uh, it's kind of not that great because it really slows you down, but I think there's tweaks to it where you can like make it like l way less, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mess around with that really sometime. It's really cool power armor, really yeah. cool idea. Keebs has got a uh, set that he played that he built. I don't know if he's done much with it, but yeah, I think the upgrades are almost like you said that make it faster and lighter and all. I think it's almost as expensive as building the armor. Well, the thing is, the uh, armor itself is light, but once you start, but, but it comes with nothing. It doesn't give you anything. Mm -hmm. No armor, no nothing. And then what you do is you put modules in it, and those are the things that start weighing you down. But you can like alter how much armor it gives you. Um, how much power it has in it. Like, you can alter mm -hmm. all things about it and kind of tweak the weight. Because as you, like, up the armor, or, like, there's one with a, a, a power shield around it, if you up the power sure. shield, you know, it makes it heavier. So. All right. It does look awfully cool. This is pretty cool. I remember seeing this in the video. It's got a pretty neat setup here I've never seen before. Yeah, he really enjoys it. He's actually powering it with fire. That's weird. Everyone else uses lava. I didn't know you could use fire. Check YouTube mail for instructions about this. I don't know what that's all about. P potion making. This is something I need to get into. Because I don't, like, I don't mess around with potions. But I should. I used to use them all the time on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, Mind Z server. You know, mm -hmm. you ever play Mind Z? Never have. It's a lot of fun, man. I've, I've seen the videos, though, so yeah. Yeah, if you run around with a crew, you could just decimate people. It's awesome. All right, so basic Thomcraft room. I think you guys know what that's all about. Um, I think yeah. that's about it here. I don't see much of anything else. Keebs is our mad wizard. He's really into the Thomcraft. I wish I had uh, some goggles so I could see what the, uh, uh, the um, what's it called, flux is like here. Probably isn't that bad because he hasn't been on in a while. Yeah. And he's not nearly as bad as he was when he was on Technic. Uh, when we had the Tekkit server going, he had an area where, you know, it's before any of us knew anything really about the Thomcraft, and he had a cauldron that he just threw everything into. So you'd be sitting there, and there'd be a swarm of two dozen wisps flying around outside from all the flux in the air. I hate wisps. So annoying. I mean, they got knocked back and everything. That's crazy. I like the wall here. That's a pretty cool wall. Because you could just get up on it. Yeah, I'm, he liked his wasteland. I think it's very, I think it's very appropriate. Yeah, I don't know what the downside of being in a wasteland is. I guess just no trees. Um, Possibly that and really ugly water. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm debating on whether I want to even go to Mind Fiend's house because I only got five minutes left in the video. Maybe I should start okay. that next video. Um. Yeah. But this video is going to be short. All right. I'm going to make this video short uh, by five minutes. And uh, we'll come back and we'll check out Mind Fiend's place and possibly my own, depending on how long it takes me to get through Mind Fiend's freaking mon <laughs> monster area. So, um, all right, guys. That's going to do it for part one. And we'll see you next time for part two. Till then, take it easy. You, you say bye after I say take it easy. Bye after you say take it easy. No, no. When I say take it easy, you say <laughs> ha, 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 ha. All right. Take it easy. Hey, night, crazy. Bye. <laughs>